Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters. A year ago today, Hurricane Maria made landfall in Puerto Rico and still, many people are feeling the effects. One NMSU professor hasn't forgotten, News 22's Amanda Adame has more. Full of people, but it was also full Counseling of and psychology professor Dr. Evelise Torres Fernandez is one of the thousands affected by the monster storm, Hurricane Maria. She's a native Puerto Rican who has family on the island. She went home three months after the hurricane. She remembers it like it was yesterday. You could see a lot of the devastation, you know, a lot of trees are down. You could see a lot of the houses with our roofs, there's a lot of blue tarps. But Puerto Rico was not as prepared for the storm as Dr. Torres expected. She says it was chaos. Hopeless, helpless, we were not very hopeful that things will get better. People were desperate, people were hungry, they were upset, aid was not coming. Hurricane Maria was the deadliest hurricane to hit the United States in this decade, but the number of deaths reported at first were thousands off from the final numbers. Without power, you know, there's a lot of people who have medical conditions who cannot leave for long. The effects are not only in the deaths and physical destruction. Many face mental health issues after their world was turned upside down. That's what sparked interest for Dr. Torres. At that point in time, when you are in a situation of crisis, you have to separate your persona from your professional persona, if that makes sense. A year later, there are streetlights that still don't work, infrastructure beyond repair, and hundreds of homes unpatched. Slowly trying to put their feet back together, I feel that that really speaks about the people of Puerto Rico and the resiliency of the people of Puerto Rico, which I feel that is the most important thing. The strength of Puerto Ricans will need to last for years and years as the road to recovery is a long one. For News 22, I'm Amanda Dame. Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters.